Hey, this is Alexey from Ace5 Studios and today we're going to be doing a very quick tutorial about pistons. So for example, I have this robotic arm here and I want this piston to work as you would expect it to work with the arm. So the key here, oh, that's kind of sticking out. That's okay, can't see it right now. The key here is that we have two pieces. We have this piece here and we have this piece here. And I prefer to put them in nulls and make sure the nulls have, you know, our the correct direction, so they're all straight up. You know, so the, one of the arrows, one of the axes are pointing along the cylinder because that's what we're gonna be aiming with. And the setup is pretty simple. We get this one and we go uh, character tags and constraint and we put an aim. And right now it's going a wonky, but we want the blue line to be aiming with, so plus Z and we wanna aim at the other null, at this null here. So we drag that in there and now wherever we move this null, that thing is looking at it. Come on. Here you'll notice it also flips a bit, so we're also gonna need an up vector. So this guy, we're gonna wanna rotate him back to 90, 0, and 0. Okay, that didn't work. Okay, let's rotate him manually. And, oof, that's, there you go, about there. And let's make a little up vector for him. Let's make a null and call this up vector one. And let's put, make sure he's inside there. So reset PSR, reset PSR, oops, PSR, there you go. So it's in zero, zero, zero. Move this guy up here. And here select up vector or up. And you want it to be rotating around the blue axis. So up vector, so axis is plus Z and up vector is plus X. And we point it at the up vector here. And now this up vector basically controls the roll. So that's what we want. It's all good. And okay, sweet. So now if we move this null around, all good is still aiming at it. Now, I guess you can guess we do the same thing with this other null. So let's straight away make ourselves an up vector. Let's put a null in there, holding the shift key, um, reset PSR, and move this guy up. Oops, just with a red arrow up here somewhere. And so when, and don't forget to take it out of the hierarchy, and yeah, take this one out of the hierarchy too. And this is up vector two. So we we'll get this guy, we we'll go character tags, constraint and we take aim and up and the up vector is up vector 2 along the plus z and with the plus x no this is plus z and this is plus x and take the up vectors there and in aim we put the other null object this is let's call this bottom piston and this is top piston and now, as you can see, when we move this guy around, they both aim and see, they can poke into each other, which is pretty much what we want. So now, we'll, whoops, now all we have to do is just put this top piston into this object here. So we have our forearm. So let's put the top piston and the up vector two in there. And so the bottom piston and the up vector one into the base arm. So into this object here. And now when we grab this, aha, we got our piston thing working. Now, the only object you'll notice is probably that when you pull too far, it disconnects. Now, you could make this thing longer, but then the problem is when you push it in, it sometimes you'll be able to see it poking through. So what we do to fix that is let's just, for example, point, let's make this guy a bit shorter. And let's go, let's just copy him. Move him down here, scale him down a bit, scale him out so he's longer and thinner. And it doesn't need that much small, you can keep them maybe bigger. And now this one, we're gonna add a cinema for, we're gonna get a character tag and constraint, and we're gonna take PSR, and we're gonna make the PSR two targets. So it's gonna be halfway between this and this object. So we're gonna put the top piston in one place and the bottom piston in the other one. And now wherever these things move, this central cylinder will be in between them. Okay, you probably want to drag this guy 
outside of this hierarchy. And maybe put them priority wise, put them off to the cannon. Still jumping around a lot. Why is he jumping around so much? Because he's still in a hierarchies I'm messing with him. Nope, still jumping. Very unpredictably. Hmm. Maybe we can attach him to these blue. To this guy. And to this guy. Nope, still weird jerking us. Is there a keyframe on him? Maybe we should put him at the end of a hierarchy. <laughs> That's still very funky. Uh, intriguing. Let's attach him just to one null. Let's attach him to our forearm. Nope, not forearm. To our top piston. Okay, and now do we have problems? No, seems to be fine. Seems to be pretty stable. Okay, and now the second one, I want it to be the bottom piston. Still doing this weird jumpiness, that's very bizarre. Let's see if I just, if it so jumps, if I just move the top piston. Yeah, it's going nuts there. Hmm. Maybe the problem is that it has, maybe it's the rotation. Okay. Yeah, so just the rotation's messing it up. Okay. Well, now all we have to do is get this. We have to add a aim constraint to him. So basic aim. And let's point him at uh, any of these bottom piston, top piston, but with a plus X. No, plus Y. There you go. Okay. So now it works. Yep. So it was just a rotation thing. And obviously this one you can get the points and move them out as needed. And then you can, so you have your mechanical arm. Obviously there you might want to reduce the points or you probably want to send to this guy. The problem is we didn't really make this cylinder. So yeah, let's, I'll just scale him down a bit. Mm. There you go. And you can obviously stack these up because you can also control with the constraint tag here. Um, with the PSR, you can control how far it is, you know, in which direction by controlling the weight. So if you, so you can have two of them and like if I add another one and just make it pink so you can see the difference. And on this one, I'm gonna drag it. Yeah, so it's more over here and maybe scale it down a bit. There you go. Now we have two cylinders that are all inside stacking there. So you can stack like a whole bunch of them if you want. Maybe make this one bigger instead of smaller. So you have like a little telescope deal going on. There you go. See? Telescoping stuff. And obviously while you're animating, you can also, at any time, you can drag this guy around and you can animate that going on too. Or you can tie it to some kind of range map with Expresso. So I hope you enjoyed that. It was a bit longer than I expected because I, that was a weird glitch with the rotation, but hey, now you know how to fix that glitch if it comes out. Usually just the PSR thing works, but in this case, for some reason it did not. So yeah, but I showed you how to fix it. So we're all good. If you enjoyed this tutorial, go check out my other tutorials and check out my website. And you know, if you like more tutorials, support me by buying some of my rigged characters. There's a bunch of different ones to choose from. And yeah, if you have any questions or requests, go ahead and post in the comments.